Pastor Roy Olson, serving as a missionary in the great nation of Romania. And uh, I come to share with you a, a, a vision that we have. Some years ago, I visited a pastor and his church who was not known particularly for his uh, prophetic ministry, but rather for his leadership and pastoral uh, ministry. But he gathered me and my wife, Melania, together along with his staff, and he began to prophesy. And this is what he said. Uh, in essence, as David Livingston was for Africa, opening the door for a great uh, missionary movement in Africa. So we have been called for Europe. He also mentioned that uh, a great uh, evangelist, Reinhard Bunke, had said something to the effect that he is standing on the shoulders of David Livingston. Well, I realize that I'm no Billy Graham caliber. Uh, I have been a humble pastor of a church maximizing 300 people in uh, New York State. And uh, came to Romania first time in 2001, purchased property here in 2004. And I realized that uh, I have never been known as a great earth-shaking uh, pastor, but rather hopefully a consistent uh, preacher and teacher and uh, of the Word of God and a leader in the Christian community, although a modest one. Well, when I heard that, I was taken aback, and I began to reconsider and think. If we, at the ministry we call Apavia, or Living Water, have such a, a high calling, I said, my God, how can I possibly uh, fulfill that call? Europe is filled with millions upon millions of people. As we travel through this nation and others, we pass through great cities, several hundreds of thousands and millions. I said to myself, my God, not by might nor by power, but by thy spirit alone can this possibly happen. And then I began to envision how. And this is what God seemed to put in my heart. First of all, um, a larger um, ministry uh, like the book of Acts where there were signs and wonders and miracles. That will attract the attention of people. Number two, the media. Television, radio, the printed page, but also the internet. YouTube, and so on. Uh, some are very costly and some are absolutely free. And the other way was what we have called our launching pad ministry. We sleep uh, 50 people, we have a conference hall, we own uh, several pieces of property here in the village where we live. And we have many ministers, men and women, called of God, uniquely gifted, with not only academic training, but uh, experience and a true giftedness empowered by the Holy Spirit. And I saw us as a, as a, uh, like a fireworks. Uh, tube standing on the ground and being lit, it, it sends flashes of light and sparks uh, and embers in every direction and uh, 
Fortunately, they generally expire by the time they land, but we were called to be something like that, a launching pad for men and women to come to minister throughout Romania and throughout Europe. And wherever they go, they leave an ember, they leave a spark, more than a spark, a glowing coal because of the power of the ministry of the Word of God and, and God confirming His Word with signs found, with lives being changed, uh, families being changed, and uh, visions and dreams being birthed. And so as, as men and women come uh, through our assistance, through our help, or independent of us. They go throughout Europe and throughout this nation. They leave behind them an ember. And from that ember is the possibility of a great uh, conflagration, a great fire of the Holy Spirit. And so that, that energized me again and anew. Why are we here? We are here for the same reason Jesus died, that they will not perish but have everlasting life. And we need the, the work of the men and women of God uh, to come to minister throughout Europe and the open doors that God has made for us and thereby fulfill our mandate of being part of calling Europe back to Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening and for being a part of what God is doing here through Apavia in Romania. Amen. <laughs>